God bless you and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be priming this EM2 Civic that was donated to the channel. Before we get started, I did want to let you guys know I did get a code compliance letter from the city. I do not live in an HOA, but they're saying I cannot paint my car with spray paint in my garage. My neighbors came out and were being really nosy whenever we were sanding and painting the car. Keep in mind we were sanding during the daytime and it wasn't even close to a time to stop. We weren't getting noise complaints. We haven't had the police at our house or anything like that. And they went behind our backs to the city and complained that we were painting this car. Now we're trying to do a good deed by giving this car away and making sure it's nice. So if you guys could please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and drop a comment. We're trying to get as much ad revenue as we can off these videos so that way we can move out into the country. So please stay tuned for more. And the videos that do come out after this, we're not shot in this garage after the code compliance letter. Uh, I'm just behind on video, so here they are. We're gonna be using the Bullseye 123 primer, the turbo paint, the turbo primer. We're gonna see how many cans it takes to do the entire car because I have no idea, but these are some pretty massive cans. I'll try to link them in the description if I can find somewhere that sells them. Um, a lot of this stuff isn't available in Australia and the UK from what I've been hearing. So uh, sorry if you're watching from over there, at least hope you enjoy this video. Uh, this car was donated to us. We have been sanding on it. Me and my brother put a lot of hours sanding. As you can see, this thing was pretty rough whenever it got to my house. It was trailered over. It didn't have a hood, front bumper. Uh, the fender was crushed, but my brother and I got to the junkyard and grabbed a new fender, hood, and front bumper. I mean, not brand new, but you know, we got it pretty cheap and got those put on and got this thing to where it's at now. Um, the sanding just literally took forever. My brother can confirm that. But uh, yeah, it's ready now. It's all wiped down. We went ahead and took the wheels off and plastic the windows, uh, got everything taped up and wiped it down with a tack cloth. So it is ready to go. We're just gonna be opening the door, making sure the box fan with filter on and pulling the fumes out. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, spray this primer and see exactly how many cans it takes. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this all set up and we're gonna start spraying. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so we're on the second can now. One can did that entire side, some of the roof, the whole hood, and front bumper. So we should be able to finish it up with two and a half cans, I think.
All right, so two cans covered everything. We're gonna go over it with one more can just to make sure uh, that any spots that are bleeding through are covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so there it is with the turbo primer. This is a high build primer. It does say it's top coat ready in 30 minutes and it says smooth finish. Now, the crazy part about that is when I was spraying it, I was thinking there's no way this is gonna be a smooth finish because you can see the bumps in it. But as it dries, it smooths out and it is a pretty smooth finish. It probably just needs a light scuff and ready to paint the top coat. So the reason we primed this particular car is because it was many different colors, as you could see whenever we got it. Uh, it definitely had a lot of colors and we wanted it all one color for when we do the next video, which is Rust-Oleum's sunburst yellow it's going to be really bright and it's going to look really good but we wanted to make sure have a pretty good base plus half the car was black so it just wouldn't look right in the final product so that's why we went ahead and primed it first typically i don't prime but if i do i think i'm going to be doing it with these from now on what do you think definitely definitely a really nice product i am super impressed two and a half cans so let's say three cans to do this entire car and that is absolutely awesome. And I do have some left over in this can right here. So it does still have stuff in it. So we could go over it one more time if there's any spots that need it. But honestly, it doesn't look like it needs it. So once this dries, uh, we're gonna actually go through, make sure everything looks good, lightly scuff in some spots that need it, maybe just lightly scuff the whole thing. And then there'll be another video coming out on the sunburst yellow. So. If you are wondering what's happening with this car, it is being donated to a guy in need. Uh, it was donated to us. The guy wanted us to do what we want with it and we felt like passing it forward or paying it forward and helping the guy that's in need. So we got you know this thing kind of fixed up and making sure it's running good and stuff like that. Yeah, fixed oil leak and some other things. Um, so we just want to give him a fresh clean paint job so at least it looks decent while he's driving around doing ministry work because he's really changing his life around and uh, we want to be part of that restoration so we're restoring this car so that he can have it so if you guys like these kinds of videos definitely hit the like button turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload because there will be another upload of this coming out with it painted yellow so definitely want to stay tuned to that but if you're new here hit that subscribe button and here's the outro before I get off here I wanted to mention there will be a free Gideon Bible download in the description for Apple or Android uh, everyone should know the word of God, what Jesus came to do. He came to save the sinner and set the captive free. He died for you and me, went up to that cross, died and defeated death. Three days later, rose from the grave and now has the keys to death. Anyone who believes in his finished work at the cross will be saved. If you have addiction or bondage or anything that is holding you down or you don't feel loved, God says he loves you so much so that he gave his only begotten son. And we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. So it's not of our works. It's of our faith in Jesus and what he did. So I just wanted to let you guys know the good news that everyone has a chance. So repent, turn from your sin, and trust in the Lord. But that is basically it for this video. And until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.